Good day and welcome to MVP Hot Seat. My name is Ibrahim Ababu from Nuclear Business Platform. Joining me today is Dr. Yao Idris, who is the Director General of Nigerian Nuclear Regulatory Authority, NNRA. Uh, NNRA is the government entity uh, responsible for nuclear safety and radiological protection regulation in Nigeria. Dr. Idris is an experienced nuclear regulator and radiation protection expert. He's a pioneer staff of the NNRA, having joined the authority in 2004. Apart from leading the NNRA, Dr. Idris is the vice chairman of the Forum of Nuclear Regulatory Bodies in Africa. Welcome, Dr. Idris. It's uh, fantastic to have you with us today on MBP Hot Seat to share your insights on nuclear energy development in Nigeria. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Ibrahim. Uh, it's a honor to be on uh, MBP Hot Seat. You are welcome. Uh, thank you, Dr. Idris. Uh, so let's start with the, the first question. Uh, Dr. Idris, can you share with us on the NNRA missions, current activities, and main mandate? Okay, the mission of the NNRA is to enforce radiological protection and nuclear safety, uh, so as to ensure the protection of life, health, property, and the environment from the harmful effect of ionizing radiations, safety and security of radiation sources and nuclear materials, and to enable Nigeria to meet its international obligation on the peaceful use of nuclear technology. Uh, the Nigerian Nuclear Regulatory Authority uh, is, uh, is a regulatory body saddled with the responsibility for nuclear safety and radiation protection uh, regulations in Nigeria. And uh, as of now, uh, the NNRA is uh, 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 overseeing the authorization and uh, also inspection of uh, uh, facilities using nuclear materials and also ionizing radiation in several sectors of the Nigerian economy. Uh, we know you have the research reactor, uh, the research reactor in the, at the Center for Energy Research and Development, Zaria. We have the gamma irradiation facilities here in Abuja. Then we have uh, thousands of uh, uh, the, the, the reductive materials we use in the oil and gas industry which is a major use of oil uh, radioactive materials in Nigeria. We also license uh, facilities in the hospital, laboratory therapy centers, nuclear medicine centers, and also uh, diagnostic radiology centers. And we also give a lot of license to the manufacturing uh, institutions, agriculture and water resources, and also uh, security and uh, custom scanning. So these are some of the areas that uh, we cover. Yes, we cover. Interesting, interesting. Uh, and in your opinion, what are some of the key highlights of uh, NNRA in 2021 during this year? Yeah, the major highlights of NRA in 2021 is uh, early in January 2021, Mr. President approved five new regulations for the NRA. Okay. And also within the year, we are able to increase our workforce uh, by almost about uh, 150 staff. And uh, we are also able to open uh, four additional offices uh, within the country and uh, another thing that our bill the nuclear safety spiritual safeguard bill has gone two readings through two readings it has passed first reading second reading and now we are finalizing it so that it can be approved finally by the national assembly before the end of the year and also again within the year uh, we got some funding from the IEA for to do some uh, projects and also uh, our lab at the National Institute of Radiation Protection Research uh, Institute uh, has been accredited by the uh, IAEA and uh, as uh, one of the designated centers. And uh, also in terms of uh, equipment, and uh, we, are, we are able to acquire some uh, major equipment and other things. So these are some of the highlights. Uh, uh, of the oh. this, and uh, also we're able to cover 
almost uh, well, uh, almost over additional about two thousand about two thousand percent additional medical facilities over the what we did last year. Those are great great developments. We're glad to hear about yes. them, and uh, yeah. y- we see that NNRA have been. Uh, pretty much busy during this uh, this year, working on a lot yeah. of stuff and making a lot of uh, uh, stuff happening and uh, fluctuating. And yeah. I will come back to some of the points you mentioned more in details later on. So uh, moving on to something more technical, I understand that the Nuclear Safety Radiation Protection Act doesn't cover many arrays of nuclear power and security. Therefore, you drafted a new law a nuclear safety, security, and safeguard bill. Can you tell us more about the bill and at which stage is it right now? Okay, like I said earlier, yes, the like you said, and also that it has the uh, radiation uh, safety, uh, nuclear safety and radiation protection act does not cover aspect of nuclear security and also nuclear power plant. So we have already submitted the bill to the National Assembly uh, the bill has passed, uh, you know, it, it has passed three readings before it can be approved by Mr. President. It has passed the first reading, it has passed the second reading. Uh, we just concluded uh, sitting down with the, uh, the legislators, national legislators, and uh, we finalize it, and they are going to present it before the end of the year so that they can approve it finally and give it to Mr. President to, uh, uh, to sign it into law. Great, great to hear. Also, yeah. you mentioned uh, about the uh, the five nuclear NNRA's regulations signed by and approved by President Buhari this year. Can you tell us more about it? Yes, the the pills have, uh, are also part of the our Nigeria preparation towards nuclear power plants uh, for generation of electricity. Uh, so they cover the aspect of uh, uh, Lassessing of nuclear power plant, uranium mining and uh, milling, and also uh, transportation of radioactive materials. So these are uh, the bills are specifically nuclear power uh, based bill. Uh, that is to show you the commitment of the federal government towards achieving the MPP program. Yes, it is uh, great to see that there is political will toward the, the establishment of the nuclear program. And President Buhari also stated that in the COP26 uh, earlier last month. Uh, so uh, recently, the NNRA has tasked journalists on the sensitization of Nigerian on the agency regulatory activities, especially nuclear safety and radiological protection. This is indeed interesting, given that uh, perception of nuclear energy is often shaped by the media. Can you briefly share on the uh, on this issue of sensitization? Yes, uh, two weeks ago we had uh, a seminar uh, with the journalists and uh, journalists from major newspapers, television stations, radio stations. We're in Nnari and we had the whole day uh, and uh, discussing with them on the need and the uses of ionizing radiation and all the need to Nigeria, uh, for Nigeria to uh, boost its electricity generation by using nuclear power. And also the, we talk about the safety of the nuclear power plant and the fact that uh, these plants have been operating in so many countries in the world, in Nigeria should not uh, be afraid that uh, the nuclear power plant will cause any problem. Because we have been running, and we told them that we have been running a research reactor for several years without incidents since 2004. And that is almost uh, 17 years without incidents. And the same thing when we have go into nuclear power plant, there will not be incidents because NNRA will ensure that uh, everything that, is, that needs to be put in place is put in place. And also the international community will also ensure that we do the right thing. Exactly, exactly. And we need to make sure that the public understand that and know about the, this. So on the international front, what more would you like to see happen from a regulatory perspective? Yes, yeah. on the international front, uh, I think the issue of uh, 
this uh, you know they have these uh, forums like the Africa the forum of nuclear relators in Africa the Asian and uh, nuclear safety network and the fire and so on and so forth. There's the need for all of us to work as a team, particularly when the, uh, and also the issue, the, there's the need to also expand uh, the committee on the, this SMRI, because Nigeria also wants to join the committee. Uh, we have shown our interest, uh, the regulatory forum on the small modular reactors we want to join, and so we would like uh, uh, the community to expand and incorporate some other people, particularly the newcomers. Mm -hmm. And also on the issue of uh, the, uh, the newcomers, we need a lot of, uh, we need a lot of assistance also from the uh, uh, advanced uh, countries. And also we need uh, a lot of uh, cooperation between the advanced uh, regulators and also the new regulators, and uh, particularly in terms of training, in terms of uh, joint inspections, and in terms of attachments, and so on and so forth. And uh, particularly also the IE can come in through uh, yeah, fellowship, and so on and so forth. Yes. Yeah. International yes. collaboration is a must. International collaboration, okay. yes. Uh, and as 2021 come to an end, what will be some of the areas of focus for NNRA in 2022? Yes, the area of focus for NRA in 2022 is to one, to focus on uh, nuclear security and also on the issue of MPP. And uh, because we need to come up with a lot of, uh, we know we have already started draft regulations we need more additional regulations, and also we need more training. And we're, we're sending some people for uh, uh, for training, and uh, also you know, human resource development is the key fact when you want to go into nuclear power plants. So uh, we'll concentrate on human resource development, and uh, also uh, te uh, technology, uh, 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 understand uh, to understand technology, because uh, a lot of we are new and uh, we need to understand all the different types of uh, technology involved in MPPP. And uh, also, again, we we'll also expand into, you know, there's some issues, uh, Nigeria is expanding its uh, medical application of radiation. radiation. Also, we also, uh, also have a uh, human capacity in that area also. I wish you all the luck in pursuing this on 2022. Right. One right. final question. What do you enjoy right. most about your role in NNRA? Uh, the most important thing I enjoy is the fact that, uh, you know, we are trying to uh, be an example, set example. In fact, NNRA is setting example in Nigeria because we are very thorough, we are very transparent, and our major role is that issue of transparency and also very true, true in our work. And uh, the most important thing is that I like much is the issue of training of people who are going to take over from us. Yes, yes, and you are setting a great example, Dr. Idris. Uh, Thank yes. you. Thank you very much uh, once again, Dr. Idris, for the time to join us for uh, today on MVP Hot Seat. It has been fascinating and enlightening to learn of the great work which uh, the NNRA is doing and the progress which Nigeria is making toward having nuclear energy. Thank you very much, Mr. Ibrahim. Uh, it's a pleasure to speak with you. But thank you once again. So to all our viewers, feel free to leave your feedback and question in the comment box below and do subscribe to our channel if you would like to gain more insight from global nuclear leaders. Till we meet, we meet next time uh, in uh, MVP Hot Seats. Take care, stay safe. This is Ibrahim Ababu signing out. Thank you.